tell the government of Cameroon the only solution is to allow the Anglophones to meet those on the territory and those outside to determine what they want. And they will choose those who can speak in their name above choosing representatives that inclusive and all Anglophone dialogue will also permit an adequate review of the root cause of the conflict, which he traces back to the United Nations Resolution 1608 of the 21st of April, 1961. Many people make noise and not know that their own law was read outside. The federal constitution was enacted by East Cameroon Assembly. The federal constitution. Is that binding on certain Cameroon? So there is no document for now on until we go back to resolution 160815 of 21st of April 1961 to tackle the root cause. <laughs> I fear for the future. And, and we have to be very careful now because when you see these small boys in flying planes with remote control, let us not allow this thing to continue. Let us resolve this issue at this level. As I argue that we should resolve at the level of the dialogue and nobody listen. Aya Paul Abine says the Swiss initiative is not worth it as the conflict needs a stronger mediator than the Swiss non-governmental organization. He says talks of ongoing background negotiations with selected leaders and individuals is unfortunately another field divide and rule strategy from the government of Cameroon.